Hello, and thank you for tuning in again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Um, today's episode is actually going to cover a uh, actually a new pistol um, that I actually have. It's probably the most uh, probably the pistol I'm most excited about actually purchasing, um, as far as uh, you know, as being a very fun target shooting. Um, I actually took this gun to a uh, low light combat course. It's the HK45, uh, not to be confused with the HK USP series. In 2008, HK released uh, a few new pistol models. One of them being this HK45. Um, as you've seen in other episodes, I've talked about various different USP models, from the USP Expert 45 to the USP Compact 45. Um, this is called the HK45. A couple of things to note here, the things that make it unique to other HK pistols. Um, a lot of uh, really good improvements. Um, the first one being is there is a universal rail kit now on it. Um, so the lower rail does not require a proprietary h &K light system to mount on it. You can stick any light system that you want on this pistol. Um, another couple of uh, benefits I like on it is the, you can actually see that there's actually finger notches in here. Um, most guns that I own, I have uh, something called a Hogue on it, which is this, uh, um, it's a grip that you stick over the gun. Um, a lot of times you'll, you'll say a bunch of four letter words as you're trying to get the grip onto the gun because sometimes it's very hard to uh, to slide the grips on, but uh, it's just a rubber hose is something you slide over the gun. Um, because of the way these grips are done, I actually have no need for the hose on this one, which uh, which I'm actually really happy about. So the the texture that's actually on these actually provides a very solid grip on this gun. Um, a couple other things to note here is the back strap is fully adjustable now. So these come with various different replaced uh, replaceable back straps. Um, I have larger hands, so one of the things I really like is being able to put this largest back strap on, and it feels just uh, incredibly natural in my hands. Um, if you have larger hands, uh, these guns are excellent. Um, the sights actually come with uh, um, some limited uh, glow-in-the-dark sights. The uh, couple other things to note about this is the uh, I actually find these easy. Is the uh, magazine release is very natural to drop the mags. Um, so the only complaint I would say about this gun is the only options I've seen for magazines are 10 shot mags. Um, I kind of would like a 12 shot mag. I have no idea if H&K uh, is going to offer those uh, or offer at least like a, a plus two option. Um, my full size H&K 45s have the plus two options, so they're 12 shot mags. Um, H&K 45s only come in 10 shots. so. Maybe h &K will offer a 12-shot mag in the future. It um, doesn't seem too much of a big deal, but uh, or it may even come from a third-party organization. The uh, other thing is from an accuracy standpoint, this gun shoots incredible at the range. Um, I was shooting this in a low-light situation. We were doing various different combat drills where you lay on your back, shooting from a kneeling position, dropping to a kneeling position, um, uh, attack and evasion maneuvers, all sorts of things. And this gun was just rock solid. Um, I had absolutely no jams with it. Um, I fired about 500 rounds through it now. Um, I've had it for a few weeks, a couple weeks, and uh, it's just been absolutely rock solid. Um, I couldn't ask for anything more out of the gun. It's slightly different uh, than a regular H&K to tear down, um, meaning that normally you actually have a there's a there's a two set, sets. So most of the time with a gun, your slide release, actually, your slide release is normally just provided on the on the left hand side of the gun, you can actually manipulate it on the right too. Um, this may be a major benefit to people who are left or right handed because if you also look at the magazine releases, you can do it from your right handed, you can do it off the left side, or if you're left handed, you can do it on the right side. So everything is manipulable. You can manipulate everything there. The only thing you can't manipulate is the safety switch, which is only on the, only on the uh, I'm sorry, left side of the gun. But uh, beyond that, I think uh, it's actually a great option for people who are even left-handed. So, that being said, remember, uh, if you have any questions, send it to info at civiliantacticalweapons.com. Do not send anything through YouTube since I don't respond to emails through YouTube. And uh, hope to see you in a future episode. Uh, a couple other things to note is the website will start uh, getting a new, uh, a new look to it. So I'm in the process now of probably between now and the... Uh, um, end of the year, starting into next year, you'll see the, mags the, 
the website will start to turn more into like a magazine format. Um, there's actually going to be articles I'm going to write up onto the website that's going to read more like a, uh, a typical shooting magazine you'd get. So the videos will be actually part of, uh, this video will be a portion of the article, but uh, the actual majority of the article will be written on the website. And uh, there will be the video link within the article to, to view the video portion of it. So, um, remember, uh, please visit the website and uh, hope to see you next week.